This is why I hate the new schedule with this thing. It's kind of nice not having the water in the morning, but it sucks. It yeah. Happens. So sabu. So it's about the kitchen. Um, Nikki came to me and talked to me last night, and I know you keep. I know it's hard because it's like usually her, and it's frustrating. Yeah. yeah. But I'm getting involved because I agree with her at this point. Um, and I'll just tell you from my point of view what it looks like is happening in the kitchen. And this might not be the case at all, and you're totally free to tell me that that isn't the case. Mm -hmm. um, but I think Nikki and Cal did a really great job last week. Um, they met everybody's dietary needs. There's a lot of options, and there was a lot of food. Um, and I know that you made the menu for this week. Mm -hmm. And I think she's feeling again like you're kind of like pushing her back out of the kitchen and she really does want to be a part of it with you. And I know that it is hard to work with because there's a lot of requests and that's not easy. It's not easy in the kitchen, especially when there's like different people and the diets always change and like, oh, one day you can have milk, but the other day you can't, you know what I'm saying? Like it goes back and forth. And I just want to fix it so we can move past the constant food argument. That's like something we ought, that is like never ending here, you know, like with the kitchen. And she was actually so upset that she was thinking about like doing a vow of silence here. And I don't want someone to feel so voiceless here, or so unappreciated here that they would have to do that. Let's be serious for two seconds. If anybody could say they feel so unappreciated here in that sense, it would be me over her. Why is that? That's because I've been the only person. I didn't come here as a chef trying to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. I didn't come here as a chef trying to be a former or trying to be a dietitian mm -hmm. or a gardener. I came here to cook. Mm -hmm. So when I come here to have somebody like Nikki to push me out of the kitchen, mm -hmm. It pisses me off, first and foremost. Secondly, to have somebody like Nikki, who isn't a chef, to tell me about how to cook mm -hmm. is not only like spitting in my face, but it's insulting. Mm -hmm. She, I, I haven't said a word to her about um, the proper way to take care of a burn mm -hmm. or step over her head mm -hmm. in her profession. Mm -hmm. So to have Nikki do the same to me is is... It, it pisses me off mm -hmm. and also to have it being from Nikki since day one also is very pissing off mm -hmm. um, I know everybody's dietary needs uh, I know what's required of them and I'm, I'm being as lenient as possible now more than even before mm -hmm. and what Nikki didn't tell you is that I actually came to Nikki and tried to get together a full menu like I put together a menu not knowing if I was gonna be here or not mm -hmm. but her argument two weeks ago was that I need to have a menu for the entire week. Mm -hmm. So then I started doing a menu for the entire week. Mm -hmm. Now the argument is that I'm making a menu and she's not including the menu. Mm -hmm. But I went to Nikki and made a list and said, hey, before I even put it together, I said, I would like for you, I like the way you and Cal put together the um, fresh produce mm -hmm. all last week. Why don't you go ahead and do the same way you wanna do or what do you think is appropriate for the fresh produce. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you can do? She said, yeah, that's something that I can do. And she wanted to be in charge of ordering everything from Sprouts, but not from Bonds. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what to do with Nikki because it's if Nikki doesn't get Nikki's way, mm -hmm. then it's not a good way. Mm -hmm. Like I even wrote, she said, well, I don't know what you want in specific. So I made it specific. She said, well, I don't know the quantities that you want. So I put the quantities that I want, and then on the side, I told her at Nikki's discretion mm -hmm. so that she can have a part in this. I didn't want to like say, this is all mine. Mm -hmm. I wanted to say we can work together because I'm more than anybody else here sick of arguing about food because at the end of the day, I'm the only chef here. Mm -hmm. So it's always gonna come back on me. Mm -hmm. And I have the hardest job here. Mm -hmm. And that's not like self-gloat. That's to say that if you guys don't eat, you don't have the energy and the capability to go and take care of your tasks that you have to do throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And with everybody wanting something different and having these different meal needs, it can get really tedious. Mm -hmm. But it's what I love to do. Mm -hmm. Like, so for me to come to you and say, well, it's not enough, it's not good enough, I can do better really pisses me off. Like last week, I ate Nikki's food four times. Mm -hmm. That wasn't because I was being spiteful. That was because I don't like my oatmeal like snot. 
-hmm. or I don't like runny eggs, mm -hmm. but all the eggs that were made were all runny eggs. Mm -hmm. You know, I like to give people more options. I don't want to just be in a situation where if that's all we have, well, that's all we have. Mm -hmm. Because last week when I asked, they didn't have anything else. Mm -hmm. When I asked for extra oatmeal, I don't know if Nikki told you that. When I said, can I have some more oatmeal? Did you guys cook all the actual oatmeal in this pot? Can I have some for myself? I like mine with a little bit of texture. Mm -hmm. There was none. Mm -hmm. When I asked about the eggs, can I make my own egg? There was none. Mm -hmm. Like I had to go back and make my own egg. Like little things like that are what aggravates me mm -hmm. because I didn't just go to school for this. Hex, I've been doing this literally for like 16 years of my life. So... To have somebody come in nitty gritty because they want things a specific way mm -hmm. and she thinks that it's the best for the group really is like right in my face. Well, let me just tell you. I can work with it. I can, I'm not trying to be in charge of the kitchen and I'm not trying to be the kitchen Nazi was what she referred to me as months ago. I'm like letting, I want everybody to be integrated within the kitchen. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is I'm the only person here safe food certified mm -hmm. to serve everybody here. Like I had to get that certification again for the state of California. Mm -hmm. Like certain things and ways that they go about cooking a lot of the food in the kitchen are not the way things are supposed to go. Mm -hmm. are not, but I'm not on their back. I wasn't on their back all last week. I didn't say shit mm -hmm. last week. And I was going crazy watching Cal take metal and scratch up the bottom of those Teflon pots mm -hmm. and like scratching them up mm -hmm. and watching them take wooden spoons and leave them inside of pots while they're boiling. Mm -hmm. Like the little stuff that you don't know, but me as a chef, I know. Mm -hmm. I want, I'm not trying to force Nikki out the kitchen. I want Nikki in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I want Nikki to be working in the kitchen if she wants to be working in the kitchen. But you're not going to kick me out of the kitchen. Yeah. I you know, don't, like I, I didn't come that. I didn't come here to do in my mind I can help with everything else, but that's my profession. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. That's where I'm comfortable at doing, and that's what I'll keep on doing until you guys tell me, "Hey, all right, you're not doing a good a job. I need you to go out." Mm -hmm. Like I need you out. And then I will gladly step down. And let them have it. But before that happens, don't you think, you know what I'm saying? Like, before the, the you know, because it does all come back to you, food problems. It does. Don't you think it would not only be better for you and the group if, like, you shared some of that responsibility? But that's what I'm doing now. Like, that's She not, doesn't feel that. I'll just tell she you what she, she told she, me. She, she wants, Nikki wants to have, she, Cal came and told me in her and Nikki's thing. Mm -hmm. Nikki wants to have four people working in the kitchen, four on and four off. And she wants everybody to work in the kitchen throughout the week. Mm -hmm. And that's not including supervision through the professional, which would be me. Mm -hmm. So she just wants four people in there, four people out of there every day. Mm -hmm. Think about how technical that's going to get in the long haul. If somebody is making the menu or somebody's not, who's going to dictate what's going to be ordered? Because what if four people want to have something completely different than what you ordered inside the refrigerator? Mm -hmm. Four people don't know all the food to use or none of the food to use. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and if you look farther past the menu, having four people in that little kitchen at one time mm -hmm. trying to be efficient to get food out for everybody would be a debauchery. Mm -hmm. Now, having two people in there at one time working together for breakfast and for dinner, there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Three times a, a week. So that's three days a week. I won't even look in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve 10, 12 other people, which will be every other utopian here, cooks inside of the kitchen all throughout the week and then I get four days in the week to cook in the kitchen mm -hmm. here's what I just want to point I think what it's coming across as is like a matter of pride for me yeah it's not even just pride it's that's my job and I understand that it's but not like, pride like, when I don't... Red came in and he told me like you got to change this and this and this I came in as a hunter and for him to come in and tell me like you're not doing really this this and this right I didn't go excuse me I'm a hunter I know exactly what I'm doing I was like that's a good point like we'll work with that we'll and that's that. what and that's what I did with Nikki everything that Nikki has said I've taken in I've not even just taken into consideration I've changed it we need to be eating organic so I changed all the produce to organic we need to be eating more produce more fresh vegetables so I changed it all we don't need to be eating white flour or white rice so we don't have any of it mm -hmm. only brown rice only brown flour that's inside of there no sugar that sugar is the problem so i buy 75 dollars worth of honey mm -hmm. for the house like everything to this point i don't think some some people saw it and some people don't and the thing is nikki's really good at that every issue that nikki has appropriated involving the kitchen has been solved 
But then as soon as one is fixed, another one arises. Mm -hmm. We're in week nine, and notice, you just said it yourself, they all have come around one person. Mm -hmm. Even if there was an issue in the kitchen and you had a problem, you brought it up and you said something to me about it or you said something to somebody else. Like, I'm the one who said Nikki to go work in the kitchen mm -hmm. last week, her and Cal. It was actually not her and Cal, it was supposed to be her. Mm -hmm. I came up with that a month ago mm -hmm. and talked to them over there about it, and they thought, why not get started now? I said, I don't want Nikki to be started at a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Halfway through the week when we barely have any food. And then the argument will be that she couldn't cook it because mm -hmm. I messed up an order. Mm -hmm. And then I talked to Rob about it. And Rob said, well, you know what? When my government comes up, I'll have Nikki cook for the entire time that I'm in government. Mm -hmm. Then we'll see just how much respect she can have for the work in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And then you'll go back to cooking. Mm -hmm. So I know Nikki thinks that Rob did that, mm -hmm. but that was me. Taylor knows that, Rob knows that, Mike knows that. I don't, it's not a pride thing. I am a prideful man, but trust me, when it's time for me to humble myself, excuse me, and step down, I don't mind doing that. Mm -hmm. But there's certain times where you just gotta say, come on, like again, another problem, another problem. Can't do dairy. Okay, let me change it. Now almond milk and coconut milk. Okay, then now it's not dairy. It's the eggs over there. Like this morning, she said, are those brown eggs or white eggs? They're brown eggs, the eggs that we've been using since we've been here. Well, I only want a white egg. Hmm. What do you mean? You've been eating brown eggs this entire time. Now the issue is that when you can't have brown eggs and you got to have white eggs, mm -hmm. it's like if it's not one issue, it's another step for another one. And as soon as I resolve the last one, she's the only person that comes at me with another issue. Mm -hmm. Like... It is not annoying. It is ridiculous at this point. And only thing that I can do for Nikki to make Nikki happy is just say, throw in the towel. Mm -hmm. Like, take the kitchen. I will work in the kitchen one day a week and be done. But then that renders me to do everything else that I have to do and get myself involved in everything else. I don't have a problem with that. But that's not what I'm here for to me that's not what i do i will go insane not being able just to put my hands in the kitchen and like cook and be able to do something and like we said there's one person over every single area inside mm -hmm. they're not over it we said they're representing. representing that area nikki would feel more better if she's representing that area than i'm representing that area even if i did things the way nikki wanted them to and and that's just as obvious as anything that is clear as day. Would it be possible if, like, maybe tomorrow um, I mediate a conversation between you and Nikki and then we actually, like, cement something down so that going forward there is absolutely, like, no more, not on your side or on her side, like, upset in that kitchen? Because I can't, I can't, like, stand to see it anymore. You know, if it's, it's just hard. I got over it. I, I, left, I let it go. But I, I saw that you were, like, upset while she was in the kitchen. I saw that. You can't hide that. You were, you were, you felt some type of way. I was. It wasn't that but she, but it wasn't I, that she was the, cooking, though. But this is it. All that it is. I don't want you to feel that way, regardless of what the situation is in the kitchen. I want you both to be happy, and that can happen. But I think that, like, thus far, it's been kind of like you two going back and forth, and nobody else knows what's going on. I think that maybe if you have a third party or a couple third parties, like, sit in and mediate both of your needs and wants and cement it. And I don't care if we have to get a block of stone and carve it in there, the resolution. And stick to maybe it. Maybe that'll no work what. because we've done it once. We've, we've, me and Nikki have had this conversation maybe twelve times since we. That's been what I'm here. saying. And just between you two, you guys are never going to see eye to eye. And but the thing is, I'm the one always bending. Mm -hmm. And that's why maybe it would benefit that's like, what a couple me third parties off. to get benefits of both sides. Like, at, let me ask you this: on uh, aside that, what has Nikki been on? Like, my my theory is that with a stick you lay it flat, mm -hmm. okay. If one side bends all the way to the other, you're liable to break. Mm -hmm. But if you take both sides and bend it, you can make that pliable. Mm -hmm. What has Nikki bend on? Like, you can point out literally every single thing that I've bend on inside of this kitchen. Mm -hmm. What has Nikki, and, 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 and this is where I work, what has Nikki at any point in time made herself malleable towards that kitchen? Mm -hmm. Like... She doesn't go over there to the garden and do this. Mm -hmm. She doesn't do that to anybody in the farm. Mm -hmm. She doesn't do anybody to that in the infrastructure with Josh. But the kitchen? And she has no, and she even said this to me, she has no 
knowledge past what she does at home and has cooked in one culinary class her freshman year of college. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. I don't it. disagree on either side. I'm just, I just hate seeing you guys like butt heads. I I'm sick. I'm upset. sick of it. That's I why I quit it. That's upset. why I quit it. I don't. I don't. Like last week, I didn't even argue with her. I, I was. Was I upset about certain things? Of course I was. That's like how Josh feels every time he sees somebody going up there cutting nails with a table saw. Mm-hmm. It irks him. But I don't say anything. Mm-hmm. I didn't say a word to her or Cal at all last week. And the reason why I didn't was because I was trying to show them that I, they can work and do their thing without having somebody doing this. Mm-hmm at every little nitpicking. But when I go into the kitchen, day one back into the kitchen, it's nitpick, 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 nitpick. Mm -hmm. And the whole order was based around Nikki and Amanda. Mm -hmm. Like, no bullshit. Uh, Free range turkey, I mean free range chicken, that's so that Nikki can eat it because Mm -hmm. she won't eat it unless it's free range. Mm -hmm. Uh, Almond milk, coconut milk, who here gives Nikki does. Mm-hmm. Like, even a man can drink regular milk. But Nikki, and I wanted to make sure Nikki was included with everything. Mm-hmm. The whole wheat flour, no white flour, honey, like all. And it's like, and it's still not even, I even showed her these things. Mm-hmm. And she was like, oh. That's it, like, oh. And then I showed her that order last night and all that stuff. And she was like, I, I just don't feel comfortable doing it because if it fails, then it's gonna fall back on me. And that's the last thing I want. I'm like, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Like, what, are we still going at it as, a, as if it's a competition? Because mm-hmm. that's not what I'm trying to do. I don't want to compete against you. I want to make sure everybody eats their food, which is why if this is your area that you feel like you can heighten yourself at, or this is what you really want, here, take that part. Go with it. Flourish with it. Do what you want to do. Shit, but with most you did most of the cooking mm-hmm. this past week. And we all know that. Mm-hmm. Nikki was there as a bystander most of the time. even told me the same thing. If I have a conversation with Cal and Cal, and, and Cal can say that he came up with three of those things for the week and the other stuff was what they had left over, like... I just have one more question. So how come, like, down at the barn you were like, yo, Nikki's already at, like, $200 and she's still ordering stuff. But then when I went and asked her, I'm like, Nikki... You know, what's the actual total? And she then wasn't going to tell you that. Me and Dedica did it. I went to the accounting. I didn't go to Because she to brought out all the receipts during that exactly. meeting and showed and, everybody. And showed everybody when we were down here at the Rocks. Mm-hmm. And she went through them and she picked the things that... When she when I made that comment, she still had the ground beef on there. Mm-hmm. Before I bought the ground beef, Rob bought the ground beef, and Taylor bought the ground beef. Mm-hmm. That was $25. Mm-hmm. Okay? She was at 171 was her argument, mm-hmm. and she still had 20-something dollars to go right. to make 200 um, The other thing was she wasn't including the household items, and this was before we made the argument about how the household items aren't included in that $200. Mm-hmm. Because every single week before her week, it was included. We always included the aluminum foil, the toilet tissue, the soap. That was all included in that $200. So really, we only had $140 to spend. Mm -hmm. When she spent that money in there, she was not including how much she spent on the household items. Mm -hmm. So when we look at it, and when I look at it, she's at $239, including household items. She's over that $200. Mm -hmm. And then we come up with it three days later while we're inside of the group that $200 is solely for food. Mm -hmm. That helped it. Mm -hmm. Like, I wasn't trying to bitch at her to say, you f- say, hey, my knowledge and everybody else's knowledge up to this point is $200 includes everything, even Mike and Dedeker. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, she was over. So, do you think it would help get rid of some of the animosity in the kitchen if we just made the budget bigger for just food? I mean, even if the budget was bigger, understand, we just made it bigger to two hundred and fifty dollars, mm-hmm. and if we keep ordering through Vons and through um, Sprouts, Sprouts, it's gonna have to go to three hundred dollars a week for mm-hmm. all these people in here. I mean, that's just reality because they don't even have knockoff stuff, mm-hmm. right? That's no big deal. I'll I'll wager you this: hundred bucks says that if we can get the group to go up another fifty bucks. Right now we're at two fifty, mm-hmm. and we see how much the food costs. So three hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. If we say we could do three hundred dollars next week you'll still have something, an issue from Nikki. What if we just like, fuck it, and just buy what we need and get over it? I mean, we can do that, but 
when you do that, sometimes people will lose their shit about how much shit they buy. Mm -hmm. You like, well, there's no budget. Let me get this, that, and this, and that, and that, and that's cool. But I'm telling you, the issue is not how much food we have. We got enough food right now, and with the fresh produce that'll come in in that order to last us throughout the week, without question, with plenty of food, just like Nikki and Cal. That's how I made the menu, mm -hmm. so that we could have big ass food, mm -hmm. and everybody can eat like this morning until there's shit left over and we don't know what to do with. Mm -hmm. That's how that menu was established mm -hmm. for this entire week. But I guarantee you, it's not going to be enough. Like there's going to be another issue. And it's not going to be because there's enough food. The next issue is going to be the way that is coming out or something. What if instead of having a budget and being forced to make meals to fit the budget? I'm telling you, it's not the budget. It's not the budget, Hex. And I don't know what I got to do to prove it to you, but it's not the budget. Well, then what if tomorrow, like, you, me, and Nikki get together and we let, and a couple other people that aren't really partial to either side. Right, I would prefer I would prefer somebody that's impartial to either side. Dedeker has been like the greatest in that sense because she sees it from all aspects, because I've had this conversation with her before as well, and uh, with Mike as well. Mm -hmm. And they see it from both ends, mm -hmm. which is, you know, I give Dedeker and Mike the thumbs up. They're the reason why I bend. Mm -hmm. Like, they're the reason why I change most of this shit. Mm -hmm. Because at first I was extremely prideful and was like, no, some doctor's gonna come here and tell me about how healthy everything has to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, she's a doctor and everybody wants to listen to her, so let me listen mm -hmm. a little bit. Okay, well, I can change this. Do you really think I wanna spend an extra 30 to $40 just for the food being organic? Mm -hmm. Or even go through that extra hassle? But because Nikki wants it, I decided to do it. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't have a problem with Nikki. I have a problem with Nikki wanting to be in charge. Mm -hmm. And it feels like Nikki's pushing me out. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm telling you, it won't be okay for Nikki until Nikki is the person over that kitchen area. So what if like you... We share the kitchen area. Like what if you, me, Ernesto, Dedeker, and Nikki all got together tomorrow? Ernesto... Oh, he's kind of partial to Nikki? Yeah. Okay, what about like you, me, who else? Does not really have a dog in this race. <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> the other ones that it, Chris. Yeah, Chris would be a good one. Chris sees it on both sides. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, me, Dedeker, Chris, and Nikki? Yep. And and we can fix this thing. But the one thing I don't want us to do before that is to... Uh-oh. Uh yeah, what's going on here? Glass blowing. Oh, he's got to do oh, the yeah. glass blowing demo. I want to uh, watch that. One thing I really don't want to do is to tell Nikki, and, and, and you have my word, I won't speak to Chris or Dedeker before that because then what I feel like is before it happens, it becomes tainted. Yeah, You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I won't tell Nikki that we're going to do yeah, it. I, yeah, like I don't want it to be tainted, the situation to be tainted in any way to mm -hmm. where, you know, we can go to them and have our argument first mm -hmm. and then hopefully they'll lean towards us. Right. And then we go into the group and then it's partial to us. I don't want that to happen. Okay, so I won't tell her. I won't tell her about it. You know, I'll just, I want this to come in neutral. I do. I want this to be over with. Mm -hmm. We're, we start week number 10 That's on what Friday. That's It's just getting This is crazy. fucking We'll be arguing about food. And I, I'm not even arguing anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I, I laid down. I just wanted to get, I think we can resolve it. And I think if you guys really can come together in the kitchen, and I think we can accomplish that, what better kitchen would there be in the world with your talent and... Dude. And her, you know, food I tried is... to lay down with Nikki. I, I, I even offered Nikki for me and her to make a menu together. Mm -hmm. And as we started, she told me that's not going to be enough mm -hmm. um, vegetables for starches. And I'm like, well, you know, this, this is okay for this and this is okay for that. Well, people need to have more of this. I'm like, yo, you can't tell these people that they got to eat the healthiest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. That's probably going to piss them off when you tell them that they have to be eating. Like, they eat probably shitty they do in here most of the people said that so what do we do well let's try this okay nikki let's do this if i make this what will go in here to make it healthier mm -hmm. and she's like no you know what i just don't want to do it i just don't feel comfortable doing that whatsoever mm -hmm. meet me halfway yeah we'll you talk know? to her about it like that's what this order was this whole menu in this order was meet me halfway mm -hmm. all the fresh produce all the vegetables everything like i hate bolognese Mm -hmm. I threw 
carrots inside of that spaghetti bolognese yesterday because she said that everything needed to have a, a healthy dose of vegetables, starches, uh, amino acids, and all that other stuff. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I don't. I, I, like, it, it, it just feels like she's nitpicking me until I leave. Mm-hmm. Like, seriously. I have a couple resolutions. I think that I'll bring up in the thing. Please. Now that I think might help. Please, because I'm really tired of this. To, to end it there easy so that you a, don't a have to like- A vow of silence because you don't, don't think that- Don't say anything. She no, was, I'm not. That's but I'm, just, but I'm saying, she like, was but, this that affected by But it. stop and think about that for a second. Like, I know you, you are the most caring person that we have here. Mm. So you care about that. Mm-hmm. But stop and think about how selfish that sounds in a mm-hmm. sense. Take a step out of Hex. And, well, I told and look her, at I was it, like, it says, don't- You're going to take a vow of silence because you can't get the food to be cooked the way that you want it to be cooked. The way you want it to be cooked. Nobody else- Everybody else is okay with it, and most people are more than fine with it. But because it's not the way that you would like to have it, you're gonna take a vow of silence, or you're gonna do something. To, and that's to, what to, I'm to like, Nikki, partial, don't. Like, I was like, don't do that. You're only gonna hurt yourself. Like you become. You what? isolate yourself and make yourself a weak link, and then nobody's gonna feel bad after a certain time. When you cry wolf so many times and you complain so many times, then people just start saying fuck. Like if you if you feel passionately about something and it's not getting resolved, not talking about it isn't going to help it any. Exactly, either. but the other thing to that is, if you're the only one that's still having that hassle, that might mean something. Mm-hmm. Like, well, and that's what I'm thinking. Like Bella's Bella's compromised and she's not doing the group thing, which I think was admirable on her part. Right. Right. So I'd like you know we'll get a figured like, look, out. Look at look at what Bella's doing with the food now. Mm-hmm. Like, and Bella's perfectly fine. Bella was able to eat everything that we made this morning. Why? Because now. Bella's getting her organics mixed in with all of the freaking food. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm doing. But now what's the argument? Well, we'll see. Tomorrow we'll get it worked out. I'm I'm confident that you guys are reasonable. We'll find out. We'll see. Can I have my piece of paper?